pollen pistil interaction it is the interaction of pollen grains with sporophytic tissue of stigma it begins with pollination that is transfer of pollen grain from anther to the stigma and ends with fertilization means fusion of male gamete with female gamete so it begins with pollination and ends with fertilization all the events from the deposition of pollen grain on stigma to the entry of pollen tube in the ovule synergid are referred as pollen pistil interaction pollination does not guarantee the transfer of right type of pollen often wrong type also lands on stigma for example if this is the stigma of the flower of a mango and on this if the pollen of flower of jackfruit get deposited means that is the wrong type of pollen so here the pistil has ability to recognize and accept the right or compatible pollen of the same species thus wrong type of pollen is discarded by pistil compatibility and incompatibility of the pollen pistil is determined by special proteins this process involves pollen recognition followed by promotion or inhibition of pollen the stigmatic surface of flower refuse other wrong type or incompatible pollen grains a physiological mechanism operates to ensure that only intra specific pollen germinate successfully mean the pollens belonging to same species the compatible pollen absorbs water and nutrients from the surface of stigma germinates and produces pollen tube its growth through the style is determined by specific chemicals the stigmatic surface provides the essential prerequisites for the successful germination which are absent in the pollen the pollen tube is finally pushed through the ovule and reaches the embryo sac the tip of the pollen tube enters in one of the synergid and then ruptures to release the content due to pollen pistil interaction intense competition develops even in the compatible pollen grain it also plays important role in sexual reproduction and seed formation pollen grain can also be induced to germinate in a synthetic medium sucrose induces pollen germination and tube growth in vitro addition of boric acid facilitates and accelerates pollen germination